What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick one today, right? We're going to be talking about the manager boost issue. So this was affecting in-game player stats. This was an issue since November 2nd, as you can see here, they were aware of an issue. It has now been fixed, right? So this issue was affecting the special managers that you could buy with the coins and also the manager boost that you would get from a high rated manager. We'll get into that in just a second. But as you see here now with the latest V3.2 update, they actually have fixed it. Well, so they say, they say that it's fixed. Uh, I have noticed a difference in a couple of the player's stats since V3.2, but obviously because the gameplay has changed so much, there's still a lot to unpack and that will come in future time. But yeah, it does look like it's fixed. And what does this mean for you? What does this mean for your squad? And what does it mean now that you can retrain players, even though it's going to cost you GP, right? So you will be getting GP compensation for that, as well as coins if you bought a special one. So I'm going to just show you a very quick example or comparison between training players properly, I suppose, and training players most effectively, okay? So there's two screens that you can train players from. This is the main training menu, the player progression menu. And this one is kind of like what you have to go into no matter what, okay? This is from the dream team, my team, my team selection, whatever way you want to call it, okay? The next one is actually in game. So this one is in game itself here. And this is going to be when you have the player in your squad. Now, as I said, We've covered this before, you do get a manager boost, basically once the team playstyle proficiency is 85 or more in one of the playstyles on the left hand side of the screen there, you will get a manager boost of plus 2 to every single stat, but also you get a manager boost with special managers such as Ten Hag or any of those premium managers that they brought in that will give you an extra boost to one attribute. So essentially you want to train your players to max them out how they're going to perform on the pitch and in game okay so this player progression screen here it doesn't actually show you what the final version of this card is going to be so if we train Messi up here with 83 speed you'll actually see that he has got 90 speed here in fact that is his actual training there because he's getting the boost with Ten Hag and he's also getting his booster so even non-booster cards are going to get the plus two boost right you don't have to have a booster card standard cards work the same this is best seen in the acceleration stat that we're going to look at here. On the right hand, we have got on the right picture there, we've got an acceleration rating of 85 on Messi. That is his actual card rating. But his in-game stat is going to be what you see at 91. Okay, so Messi is actually going to be, when you're playing with him on the pitch, now with the fix for V3.2 with the manager boost seemingly fixed, right? His acceleration is not going to be 85 as per his card. His 85 rating is going to be minus the manager boost and minus his booster boost, okay? With the manager boost now fixed and his booster, he is going to have an actual in-game rating of 91 acceleration. And this follows true for the rest of the stats as well. If you take a look at balance there, his balance is 76 compared to 78. So that is just the manager plus two boost. So hope that clears it up. It's a short video. Now that you can do that, we're going to be retraining a lot of players, so keep it locked to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you then in a bit. Peace!